Hey everybody, Nick Manella here. I wanted to bring you another review video of a new piece of equipment that I've been using lately that I just think is so awesome that I felt compelled to get on and do a video about it to let everybody know about this awesome product. So I've been searching for a new way to store my reeds for a little while because I've been noticing Sometimes in New England, when the seasons change, it really gets bad for reeds because it's, you know, cold, then warm, and then humid, then dry. So the reeds really go through a lot of abuse, just basically sitting in the case, drying out, getting wet again, all that kind of stuff. So what I used to use was those regular just little four you know, reed holders made by Rico or Lavaz or whoever made them. Um, and I use those for years and, and I've decided lately that it's just not going to work for me. So I've decided to go out and do a little bit of research and find something that will work for me. So I started looking at a bunch of different reed cases. You know, they've got the Rico ones with the humidipacks and all that kind of stuff. But I noticed people were having a lot of trouble with those too, uh, keeping the humidity level correct and not too humid where the reeds will actually grow mold or keeping it not humid enough where you still get that issue where the reed dries out and becomes brittle and then when you put it on the mouthpiece it gets warped and all that kind of stuff that we're used to as saxophone players. So what I found online was this little gadget here called the Reed Juvenate and I read a bunch of reviews about it and people were absolutely raving about it. So. I went online and bought it. It wasn't ridiculously expensive. It was like 23 bucks or something like that. So I figured, hey, worst comes to worst, I just wasted 23 bucks. But if anything of what these people are saying is true, then this is going to be an awesome way to store my reads. And I'm very happy to report that it has been amazing. It's completely changed everything about my playing, just having these reads ready to go. So I wanted to explain to you kind of what makes this one different and how it's benefited me over the past couple weeks and made my life just like a million times easier. And if you're a saxophone player, you know how when you have good reads and they cooperate with you, it literally makes your life better and how the opposite is also true. You know, having a run of bad reads or not being able to store them correctly or whatever, it just, it ruins everything. So this thing has been a lifesaver. So as you can see, it's just basically a little plastic case, all right, with a screw on top. And it has this little rubber gasket to kind of keep it airtight. Um, and that's gonna be really important. Uh, I'll show you why that's important. But basically the, the theory is this. Okay. And as I opened it, I got the fresh scent of Listerine because that is how this actually works. So what you've got is you've got this little plastic jar with the screw on top, and then you've got a holder for three reeds. You can see that. See, I number my reeds as well right on the base so that I know which one is which. And they do it in uh, handy colors too. So even if you didn't want to number your reeds, you could just go by the color. But I, I like to do the number. It helps me keep track. So inside of this little center part, let me see if I can do this right, there's a sponge, okay? There's a little triangular sponge that goes in there. And it basically just looks like a regular kitchen sponge that somebody cut into a triangle and slipped inside of the reed holder. See, so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Sorry, I know my camera is not the best, but believe me, there's a sponge in there, I promise you, okay? And what you do is there's sort of two different ways to, to use this reed case. Um, and it comes in the instructions. So basically what you can do is you can take the sponge out and you can soak it in Listerine and then you put it back in and obviously it's gonna keep the humidity up inside of the reed case. But the nice thing about the Listerine is, and here's a, a little caveat that you have to remember, you have to use the original like yellowish color Listerine. Because what I found out is that the other flavors like the mint or the peppermint or whatever, the blue, the green, those have a ton of sugar in them. And that's really obviously not gonna be very good for your reeds. So you've gotta use the original yellow Listerine that doesn't have any sugar in it. It's basically just all alcohol. So by using Listerine, you're, keep, you're able to keep the, more, the reeds nice and moist without any type of mold growing on them. So that first method that I just told you about where you soak the sponge in Listerine and you put it back in there, that's gonna keep the reeds pretty moist and it's gonna keep them from drying out all the way. But there's another way that I actually prefer that keeps the reeds like 
the the most moist they can possibly be almost it kind of keeps them saturated and i don't know if this will work long term for me but right now i'm loving it so what you do is you keep the whole thing assembled and then you take the listerine and you actually pour it right into the rejuvenate until it fills up about that much okay then what you can do is you can either leave it filled up that much or you can dump out the excess Listerine after it's had a chance to soak into everything in the reed case. And that's going to keep your reeds like, I take a reed out, put it on my mouthpiece, I am ready to go. It's already saturated to the point that I need it to be to really get that good sound I'm looking for. So I'm really loving that. And, and it's, it's awesome because the reeds never dry out. And that's what causes a reed to have a shorter lifespan or get warped on the tip, which I don't think a reed can ever really come back from being that warped. Um, but it used to happen to me all the time with the way that I was storing my reeds. So this is great. The reed never has a chance to dry out. So therefore it never goes through that trauma of becoming dry and brittle and getting warped and all the stuff that we hate as saxophone players, it never has a chance to dry out. But the cool thing is that it will never grow mold because of the Listerine and the alcohol content of the Listerine. So it removes that thing of, of players who like to keep their, their reeds in a really, really humid environment, but notice that they start to grow mold rather quickly when they're in that humid of an environment. So it's really an ingenious little thing. 22 bucks, it holds three reeds. Um, I wish it held more, but who cares? Three is good enough. I could always buy another one of these if I wanted to. And I like it so much that I, I really think I'm going to buy one for my alto and my clarinet as well because, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's just been kind of revolutionary for me. And um, I really, really believe in this product. So if you're looking for an easier time with your reeds and you're somebody who likes to keep them in a very human environment, keep them saturated, this is the tool for you. Um, like I said, I can't recommend it enough. All right, that's gonna about do it for my review of the Rejuvenate reed storage system. Um, if you have any questions about like where to get this or um, any more questions that you'd like to know about actually using it, some of the pros and cons of it, um, leave them in the comments below, or you can visit my website, nickmanellamusic.com, and you can shoot me an email for a little bit more information about this. Rejuvenate. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.